Hi, I'm dietitian Ashley Koff, and I'm back with more conversations on dietary supplements. I already talked to you about why I recommend a daily supplement regime and what you should have. And a lot of you have asked me questions, okay, but what in addition? You know, I hear whether I'm watching TV and I hear about these great new supplements that'll help with anything from energy to weight loss to helping my immune system. Do I need them? What should I be looking for? Well, the answer is you don't necessarily need them. You can certainly amp up what you're doing from a food standpoint. You know, if you're adding, like somebody laughed at me the other day, I actually added mushrooms to a smoothie. If you're adding mushrooms to a smoothie, you don't have to necessarily take a mushroom supplement. But one of the reasons that supplements can be advantageous is that they can actually give you a higher concentration of quality nutrients. Like you may have to eat, you know, the old uh, commercial, you may have to eat six bowls of cereal to get a certain amount of B vitamins. And B vitamins, like this B complex here that's organic, great quality from Natural Vitality, this B complex is going to give you a great boost of energy. So it's a really great option for say, middle of the afternoon if you feel your energy tanking and you don't want to turn to a shot of espresso, try adding in a B complex. In addition, one of the areas that I think supplements can really help out is in reducing the inflammatory reaction in our body, um, inappropriate inflammation, so that anti-inflammatory diet that we hear about. You know, using spices like ginger and turmeric and eating mushrooms are great, but the concentrated amounts that you can get in supplements can be really helpful for helping you get over the hump if you have a cold or actually helping to prevent a cold. So in the winter months, I may go ahead and add these in, or if I, there's a particular time with travel or a time in my life where I want to boost up my immune system. That's going to be really helpful. And also remember our antioxidants. Antioxidants are really important. Green tea, red wine, all of these different things that we may not be consuming in our diet on a regular basis, they have advantage in supplements. Now you might read articles where they say, oh so this article showed that the red wine supplements don't work. Well the issue is, is that they're not necessarily controlling for quantity. I wouldn't rely on this alone, but if you're not consuming red wine in your diet and you're not drinking green tea and you do turn to an organic great quality product like this one here that's going to offer you some benefit so it's a great opportunity and this last area is sometimes supplements are a great thing they help me help people from a therapeutic basis this area I want to focus on is one that you should be working with a healthcare practitioner if you are celiac, if you are gluten intolerant, if you are suffering from allergies, if you have uh, autoimmune disease, these other things, and you're having problems on a chronic basis, then one of the things that your healthcare practitioner like myself might recommend is a supplement to help you in those instances. And that's where therapeutic options like uh, digestive enzymes for uh, gluten consumption or for allergies and things like that can be really of advantage. So look forward to answering more of your questions and I hope you'll check out some of these supplements.